In 2014, uh, paper one, question four, another differentiation question. So generally appearing in your paper one, that question may be in the first six, and then the longer questions, it may appear as well. So differentiate the function from first principles. Again, once you see first principles, you know, and you have to write this down straight away, you're using your rule. Limit h approach zero, fx plus h minus f of x all over h. And now we're just gonna go through these stepwise. We have our f of x. Our f of x is the, the original function. fx plus h. Simply sub in x plus h. Anywhere we see your x. And tidy it up. Okay, and write out that bracket twice if you like. Do not make silly mistakes squaring that out. Or square the first, multiply the two together, xh, and double it. Square the last. Now, so we've got our fx plus h, we've got our f of x. Now subtract them. Here, they'll always be cancelling. It's 2x squared plus 4xh. Minus all of this. So don't forget to change the sign of everything. Minus 2x squared plus 3x plus 6. And your 2x squared goes your 2x squared, your 3x, your minus 3x, your plus 6, and your minus 6. So what you have left with are the following terms. Next thing divided by h, we have a rush here. Use the football match on. So divide everything by h. And we have 4xh divided by h is 4x, 2h squared divided by h is 2h, minus 3, and that's it. And then the last thing, the limit is h goes to 0. That means sub in 0 for h. So try to keep it neater, as I say, in a football game here, and did I have to go for it? So h goes to 0, this disappears, you're left with 4x minus 3. As you know, that is the right answer because 2x squared multiplied down by the power gives you 4x minus 3x becomes minus 3. You know, so block your way if you get a wee bit confused there, and you'll be grand. The second one, let f of x equals 2x over x plus 2. Find the coordinates of the point at which the slope of the tangent to the curve is a quarter. Once you see the slope of the tangent, and um, is what they're asking you is dy dx is equal to a quarter. Technically, I suppose suppose f dash x is equal to 1 over 4. Now, next thing. This here is a, a fraction form. So we're going to be using the quotient rule here. Um, so I'll just write down the original function. I'll keep that page in mind. So f of x is equal to 2x over x plus 2. In order to use the quotient rule, um, do whatever you like. V du dx minus u dv dx over v squared, or as I say, the bottom, by the diff of the top, minus the top, by the diff of the bottom, all over bottom squared. Keep it in English, makes it a wee bit easier. So the bottom, times the diff of the top, minus the top, by the diff of the bottom, all over your bottom squared. Tidy that up, makes it easier because you have to let it equal to a quarter. 2x plus 4 minus 2x for x plus 2 squared. You can square that out if you wish. We're going to be doing it now shortly anyway. 2x minus 2x, so we're left with 4 over x plus 2 squared. Now, if they say the slope is a quarter, so what we do with that? Let it equal to a quarter. And again, once we have a fraction and we have an equals, now uh, we can make things disappear. So cross multiply four times four. Square sixteen is equal to x squared. Multiply the two together plus two x and double it. It's four. Starting to look like the old favourite. 
and an equal drag to our trident wheel. And again, solve that whatever way you wish. Do not make silly mistakes from here. X is equal to 2, X is equal to minus 6. Now, technically, we haven't answered that because again it says find the coordinates. Do not do all that hard work. And then throw away handy marks. So X is 2, X is minus 6 for coordinates. You need an X and a Y. Where you're going to get your Y, back up your F of X. So Y is equal to 2 times 2. Y is equal to 4 over 4, which is 1. So our point is 2, 1. And up here we have y is equal to 2 times minus 6. Minus 12 over minus 4, y is equal to 3. So our other point is minus 6 and 3. And as the old saying goes, don't practice till you get it right. Practice until you cannot get it wrong.